Yes, 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 no, no, no. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Channel Empire. My name is Andy, and today we're answering the age-old question, what is the best camera for YouTube? All right, I'm gonna try to tackle this question today in this video, what is the best camera for YouTube? I have a handful of cameras, and I've broken it down into three little categories uh, that I'm gonna share with you about what the best camera is for you so you can decide what camera to get for your YouTube videos. And the criteria for this is the baseline, all these cameras that I recommend are going to be able to shoot 1080p HD video. So that is, that's kind of like the baseline minimum that you want nowadays. You want it to be able to shoot full HD 1080p. So that's, that's basically it. Also, you're gonna want a, a tripod to, to keep your camera on, to keep it stabilized. Every item that, that I mentioned in this video today will be linked down below in the description below. Uh, it'll be also linked to the blog post on my website where you can check out all this equipment that we're about to talk about. Now let's get right into these cameras. Okay, the first category is the low budget to no cost camera. So if you don't wanna go out and spend money on a camera, then you're most likely gonna to have to use something like this, which is a smartphone. Okay, so almost everybody these days has a smartphone, and if you've gotten a smartphone within the past couple of years, then it most likely will be able to shoot full HD 1080p video. So if you do have a smartphone or an iPod Touch or something like that, you will be able to shoot 1080p full HD videos for YouTube. Almost everyone has one, so you don't have to go out and spend money, you just use what you got. Uh, it's portable and it's easy to use. Some of the cons of using a smartphone, the audio is a bit lackluster, you can't see yourself, and it uses your battery uh, on your phone and your storage space on your phone as well. So if you're short on like battery or storage space, then that'd be kind of a, a drawback to that. But they are easy to use, they're portable, and almost everybody has one. So if you don't wanna go out and buy a camera, then you can definitely start off with your smartphone. Now there are some cool video apps that you can get on your smartphone, such as Filmic Pro for the iPhone that will help you customize the video to your liking, which makes it a better looking video with your smartphone. So you can shoot really good looking videos with your smartphone. And if you want to put your iPhone on a tripod or something like that, I have this little thing called the uh, Square Jellyfish mount. It pretty much holds any smartphone in it. You just snap your iPhone or smartphone right in there and you can put it on, it screws right into a tripod and you can have your iPhone, smartphone stabilized and take a video. So that is something you probably wanna get if you wanna use your smartphone. Now moving on to the next set of cameras. If you've got about 250 or 350 in the bank account that you can spend on a new camera, then I do recommend these set of cameras, which is the Canon PowerShot L300 HS, I believe it's called, uh, the GoPro, or the Canon Vixia HF R500. Okay, these are within the 250 to $400 price range, and they take really great quality videos. Now the pros to these cameras are they are extremely great quality for the price, uh, they are small, and they are definitely easy to use. Some of the cons with these cameras are, again, the audio is a little lacking compared to higher quality cameras, and the shot. You can't really customize the shot as, as much as you could with other, other cameras such as DSLRs. So once you get that, that shot, then you can't really customize it as far as with the camera. But these cameras are great for vloggers or people on tight budgets who don't want, want to spend the money, a lot of money on a higher quality camera yet, uh, great for beginners, and just a great to get that HD footage that you want, that you really need for YouTube these days. So if you want that nice 1080p quality on a dedicated camera without breaking the bank, these cameras are a great choice. And the third and final category of cameras are the DSLRs and the higher quality expensive cameras, the mirrorless, the micro four thirds, the cinema cameras, all those cameras that are $500 and above price range. These are the cameras that you're probably gonna eventually end up on once you have a higher budget, more, more money to spend on the camera, and you wanna learn uh, DSLR video. You'll be able to customize your shots more. Uh, you'll get the best quality possible. You'll have interchangeable lenses for these cameras, and you'll, you'll definitely have professional quality videos with these cameras. These cameras are on the expensive side. They're, they're anywhere from $500 to thousands of dollars, but you can get a great, high quality DSLR such as the Canon T3i for just about $500 with the kit lens and you'll be ready to go shooting with DSLR video. Now there is a learning curve to these if you never mess around with a DSLR, um, it takes a little while to learn about the settings but once you get the hang of it, once you start practicing with it, it, it really is not that complicated. And you can even jump up to the 4K quality video such as what I'm using right now on the Panasonic GH4 for less than $2,000. 
and it really is becoming affordable for these awesome cameras. It's, it's really amazing. So if you really want the best quality video and you have the budget for it, then go ahead and get a DSLR. So what you need to do right now is to just figure out what your budget is and then just see where you can go from there, what your end goal with the video quality is. And then you can always upgrade in the future too. You know, you can start off, that's exactly what I did. Just start off at the bottom and then work your way to the top. So, and, and it might take you a little while, but don't worry, you know, all these cameras, like I said, all these cameras shoot full HD 1080p video. And that's really all you need. Now, having said that, it is highly recommended that you invest in some audio gear as well with your camera so you can get great sounding audio and not just great looking video because audio is half of the video. So with your DSLR, you wanna think about getting a shotgun mic such as the Rode VideoMic Pro, or if you're using an external recorder, you can use something like the Zoom H1 recorder paired with a lav mic. Uh, a lot of these are very affordable options that you can get high quality audio from. So again, the link to all these products will be in the description below along with my blog post that will have all the links as well. And if you are wondering, uh, this video was shot with the Panasonic GH4 with a cheap Canon adapter along with the Canon EFS 18 to 55 millimeter lens with the Rode VideoMic Pro. So just to give you an idea of what kind of quality shot it is, that's what I'm using. So I hope this was helpful in your journey and endeavors to finding your perfect camera, but keep in mind, it's not all about the video quality. Just the most important thing is you just get started recording videos. You know, work with what you got. If you can't go out and buy anything, just work with what you got. Uh, but if you can, it is really, really highly recommended to get the best quality possible for your within your budget range. Okay, so that, that is all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Make sure you sign up to the Channel Empire VIP email club and get the free ebook, Top 5 Steps to Profit from YouTube. I will see you guys over there on Channel Empire. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.